All right, so I'm going to try to come up with my own bone color. And we're gonna paint these in a bone color. So uh, let's see how it goes. Fish it. Fish it. Fish it. He's fishing it. So I think I've decided opaque white, of course, is the base. I'm not gonna pre-spray base these since it's gonna be bone. I'll just do a couple coats just to cover them up. But then I've got the transparent sand color, the Createx. So we'll mix that in with just a couple drops of that until we like the color of, with the opaque white. All right, so I've got about a teaspoon of opaque white in there and I put two drops of the sand in. So let's mix that up and see what it looks like. I hope it doesn't get too dark, but I don't think it will. I think we'll be all right. If it turns out to be too brown, I may add a drop of yellow in there. It still looks a little white. So let's go with one more drop of sand. That'd be three drops to one teaspoon. Get that mixed up pretty well. It does have a little bit of tan tone to it compared to just opaque white. But I think it's still too white. I may add a drop of yellow in there just to see how it goes. Like I said, this is the first time, so we're just going by looks. Now I have this Wicked Colors Yellow Orca. I guess that's what that's called. It looks more like a brown, but I don't know. Let me put it on a piece of cardstock and see. <clears throat> I think it's this color right here. It's like an orangey brown. I used it on something else. I think I'm gonna add a drop of that in there. I don't know, it doesn't look a whole lot different than the sand. It might actually be a little darker brown. There we go. That's yeah, better. It's got some yellow in it. That's what I like. Okay. That looks a lot better. Alright, now, that actually looks really good. Cool. So we did, let's see, we did one teaspoon, where's the marking? Okay, one teaspoon of the white. We did three drops of the sand and one drop of the yellow orca, wicked colors. And that is almost perfect to what I want it to look like. All right, I got it all in the hopper here. Let's go ahead and start with this small, shallow crankbait.
So I got them all hit with a couple coats. I think that color is going to look spot on. Again, the lighting in here makes it look white, but it's actually a really good bone color. So let's go on, hit them with the hair dryer, and then I'm going to hit the top a little bit with some sand color, just lightly, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I've got the sand, Createx, transparent. I put a couple drops in here. Don't need a lot because I'm just gonna be doing a light coat on the back sides, just the tops of these baits. Just want to go really light, so start right here, make sure I'm getting some out. A little bit of reflection on that. The sun coming in my window here. about all I want. You go around the eyes and the gill plate a little bit. Alright, so I got everything hit with the hair dryer and dried up. And what I want to do now is I want to put some red behind the gill plates of these. <clears throat> so, these are the same, but these are different. I'm just going to take some cardstock and, to the best of my ability, make a cover up to go over the gill plate. And then I'm going to use some uh, opaque red and then uh, go right around the back side of the gill plate there so I need to cut this to get it to fit all right so there's my makeshift cover there well, let's see how it goes see if I can't screw this up too bad got a little on that side that's all right let's hit this other one see if we can do any better so I got all the gill plates sprayed with a little red now I'm going to just put the marker dot on the side shad dot whatever you want to call it so I'm just gonna put a little opaque black on my cardstock here just one little drip. Probably all I need for all these baits. Q-tip. Just doing it the easy way. I'll just dab on the Q-tip there. And then I'm going to put it right here on the side. Actually, I'm going to go a little high. Right above the body line. Right there. I'll do number two here. And then I'll flip them around and I'll do the other side.
All right, so I'm gonna go with silver eyes on these. I think that looks best. It's all the same size. Those are a little smaller, so we'll get those later. Super glue. Little dab of glue. That's a big dab of glue. Try not to stick my thumb to this one. I put too much glue on it. flip it around to the other side get those glued on and then we'll do the dip in the clear coat all right so here we go let's go for the first dip and then we'll get the rest of them that hang for a little bit let it get tacky then we'll go for a second dip just to get that extra coat on it and I'll show you all what the finished product is after that <laughs> 